It's the takeover breaks over. Now, this is something I just found out about that I didn't even know was around. Transitioning closets. What are transitioning closets? Well, let's say that you send your son, little Timmy, to school. And when little Timmy gets to school, he goes up to his teacher, and his teacher says, Yes, little Timmy. And little Timmy says, Well, you know what? I don't feel like a Timmy. I want to be Tammy today. And so the teacher says, oh, I got an idea. I have a closet over here. And you can go into that closet. And inside that closet, you'll find a dress, a wig, a makeup, some heels. Not no red bottoms and nothing fancy, but heels nonetheless. And what you can do is when you're in that closet, you can change into Tammy. And then for the rest of the school day, you can be Tammy. Now, when the bell rings, at the end of the day, you just go back in that closet and you turn back into Timmy again. And then you go home and guess what? I don't have to tell your mom and dad. You don't have to tell your mom and dad. It'll be just between the two of us. Hmm. So your child and teacher to have a secret, private relationship that you as a parent don't know anything about. You don't believe me? Check this out. The goal of the transition closet is for our students to be able to wear the clothes that their parents approve of, come to school, and then swap out into the clothes that fit who they truly are. And I use the idea that this is like Superman changing in a phone booth. But that idea actually goes a lot further than that, because Superman isn't Clark Kent. Clark Kent is actually the disguise. And when Clark Kent goes into the phone booth, he transforms into Superman, who's really just who he truly is, Kal-El. And so this gives our trans students the opportunity to be the superheroes that we know they are. Hey, this is Amari, they, them. Um, I wanted to share a project I've been working on called the Transition Closet. Um, I go to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're the ones that started the Free Little Pantries. And we decided we wanted to start a closet for the people who are transgender. One of our main focuses was to love on the LGBTQIA plus community give people some free clothes and also offer a really cool sponsorship program where we offer free binders and free tucking underwear for people who are transitioning to help people live their free lives. What I'm hoping from you is that other churches will come and help open their own transition closets so that all over the U.S. we have churches loving on the LGBTQIA community instead of hurting them. They got money for wars, but can't feed the poor. They got money to do this, but they ain't <laughs> not for more teachers or to get them pay raises or better school supplies. I mean, every year they send us home with a list. And I'm next this time when they when they send that list home, I'm gonna say, you know what? The money that you're using on buying dresses and extra clothes, just use that for the school supplies. These people are lunatics. Bat shit crazy. And then you're going to bring up Superman. Yeah, his name was Kyle. His name wasn't Kelly. So now Superman, he, he was trans as well too because he went into the phone booth and he changed his clothes. I ain't got much to say, man. Look, subscribe, like, share, comment. I'm out.